Hi everyone, welcome to Code Sci-Fi. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a post with some content and a like component. We will start with a like component. Click on the app folder and click on the add file button. Name it is like.component.ts. It will be similar to hello.component.ts, so we will copy the hello component and start not editing. First, rename the class to like component. Also, we will rename the selector to like dash box. We will use a separate template file here called like.component.html. We don't need the style so remove them. The like box won't need any input properties, but it will need a property called number of likes to store the current likes. The type would be a number. Note that user should be able to increase or decrease the number of likes using a button to thumb up and another button to thumb down. Let's open the template file. We would like to display a number of likes in a paragraph, a button to like, and another one to dislike. All of them will be in a container div. There we go. The like box is not displayed yet. Let's go to app.component.html to use the new component. Oh, no. The component has not been registered yet. We need to let Angular know where to look for the new component. Go to app.modules.ts to add the like.component. What's wrong here? It's because we need to add the like component to the list of declarations here. Great, it works. Now we would like to increase the number of likes when user clicks on the like button. Let's add two functions like button click and dislike button click. When the like button is clicked, number of likes will increase by one. Similarly, when the dislike button is clicked, the number of likes will decrease by 1. You need to refer to the number of likes variable by using this as it is the instance variable of this class instance. Now we need to wire up the functions, since they are not working yet. In AngularJS, we normally use ng-click like this, however, this won't work on the new Angular. We can try it. See, these won't work. Why is that? Open the manual, and you should see it is documented as parenthesis click parenthesis. Alright let's try it on the template. There we go. Now the like box is pretty ugly. We would like to style it better using Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a responsive toolkit that allows us to quickly develop a good looking website. Get the URL to the style sheet and you can link it on your header. However, since we are using Stackplits, you need to add it as an external resource. Great, we would like to style the like and dislike button. The like button will be green as success, and the dislike button will be red as danger. We will copy the class here. There we go. Now the like box is still pretty boring. We can make them look better using card class here. 
Look at the example. We can use the portion without image here. Copy it and paste into the template. We will move the whole template of the like box under class card dash body. Let's make this as card title. Great, we have a nicer looking like box. So we have learned how to create a simple component, wire up the click handler from the buttons to the functions and use bootstrap library to quickly style the component. In the next video, we will learn how to create a post that uses this like component like a Facebook post for example. See you next time. Goodbye.